to my channel. This is a completely like bleh video. I wasn't planning on doing this video today. I was supposed to sit down and dye a wig of funky colours and I realised that I broke my wig stand. I was like, ah, I can't do it now. So I wrote on Instagram and asked you guys if you had anything you wanted to ask me and that is what I'm doing today. I'm answering your questions because I love you guys. So, I screenshot your questions. They're all on my phone. So I'm gonna be holding my phone up while I answer these. Thank you everybody who asked questions. I'm gonna whiz down them as soon as quickly as I can. There is a ferret on my table. He's about to knock a drink over. There goes the drink. I'm back. Um, let's get started before this ferret destroys any more of my house. Do you play video games? If so, what's your platform and favorite game? <gasps> I am um, a humongous, like since I was a kid, a humongous Crash Bandicoot girl. Crash Bandicoot is literally my life. It's Cortex Strikes Back, I can get through that whole game, not even joking, that whole game in one go and I can get every single gem, I know where every single hidden thing is, hidden crystals, I know, I know everything about that game. It's my favourite game in the whole world. I also really, really love Mario. I do adore my Silent Hills and my Resident Evils, but they're more of the games that me and Ben will play together. Have you ever been to North Wales? <gasps> I don't know. I went to, <laughs> I don't know. I went to Wales on holiday when I was a kid. My best friend is actually from Wales. She's actually there right now. She's on holiday there and she is dying to take me there. I went when I was a kid and I really liked it. Um, Although when we went on holiday, we went to ha a Haven caravan holiday and someone was killed by our campsite. So we never went back again. So that's like my only memories of being a child in Wales. But I would love to go back. What's your favorite Disney ride? I really like Big Thunder Mountain. I I also love like Space Mountain and all that. But Space Mountain and the Aerosmith ride tend to give me a headache because like your head just goes like this too much, I, you know. And on Big Thunder Mountain, you've got the goat. Have you seen the goat on there? And he's just like, Wah. So I do like him. When we actually go back to Disneyland in May, it's the first time <laughs> that Violet is tall enough to go on the Tower of Terror and Big Thunder Mountain. She can go on almost everything. I think the only thing she can't go on, ironically, is the Crush Coaster, which is a kid's ride. She is going to go insane when she can go on Tower of Terror. Are you gonna get another color on your blonde side? If so, what color? Yes and no. Like, I am really digging the half black, half blonde. I keep toying with the idea of going lilac because it's so easy to wash out, but I, I am really liking the blonde and I do have some dreads to put in pretty soon. What's your plan slash goals for 2019? Do you have any or more? go with the flow. I'm definitely go with the flow. I'm very go with the flow. We've got London Edge coming up, so we'll be in London for that. Hopefully download. We're unsure about babysitters yet because it's the first time Violet's been in school, so we have to sort out all of that. Disneyland. I feel like I've got a lot of things coming up, but I just can't remember. <laughs> Hopefully a big meetup in the summer. Hopefully a Manchester meetup in Easter. That's pretty much the big things that I can think of right now. How are all your furry ferrets doing? They're doing really good. They are more spoiled than my daughter is. If you woke up tomorrow and your body was a blank canvas, good question, what body modifications tattoo would you have first? I would totally just go and get my sleeves back. I don't, I don't feel like I would want to not be tattooed. If I took my tattoos away, I, I, I don't know. I feel a bit naked. I'd definitely just get them all back. Just maybe better ones, I'd maybe go to better places um, from when I did when I was younger. But you know, they would definitely, they would definitely return. First thing you'd do if you was in a movie, honey, I shrunk the kids. First thing I would do, I'm a really small person. I'm only four foot 11. So honey, I shrunk the kids isn't like that far off me. <laughs> I'd turn into like a little secret spy, set up my own PI agency and just follow people around places. Ride on the back of a bumblebee, that'll be my taxi. P.I. Boo. Boop. Boopy. Boopy agency. Kiki, do you love me? Kidding, what a fucking stupid song. Yes, it is! Right, 
story time. I was in the playground and one of the girls in my daughter's class, who is four, started singing it to me and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. What song is that? <laughs> like being a nice woman going, oh, you sound great. And my daughter's going, I can sing Wheels on the Bus. And like, because she still sings nursery rhymes. And then this little girl's going, Kiki, do you love, do you love, what is it? Do you love me? Do you love me? And I'm like, oh, yay. I'm so glad my daughter still sings nursery rhymes. <laughs> I hate that song. Are you going to download 2019? Because I would love to meet you again. Hopefully. I have my ticket. Um, I have a Friday to Sunday ticket. Ben hasn't got his yet. We are just trying to double check childcare at the minute before he gets his. But I, I really hope so. It's because I don't know anybody that is going. Otherwise, I would just go with someone. Like, if, I, if anybody I know, like, really know is going, I wouldn't mind me tagging along. Um, I am so up for that. Anywho, if you won the lotto, what would you do besides buy me a ticket to come see you? Of course I would. Hello furry friend. No, I wasn't just talking to my vagina there, there is a ferret down there. If I won the lottery, the first thing I would do is go to Disneyland. I would literally call work. Sorry, <coughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Can't come in for three months. I'd be able to afford the school fine I would get for taking Wyla out. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to Disneyland. Who's coming with? What made you decide to do split hair? Porcelain black that made me love her hair. In the video for rock and roll looks like. The video I love. She just looks so beautiful. I just want to be her in that video. Yeah, it was pretty much her hair. I just, I, I loved it so much. What music do you listen to? I listen to so much. 90s to early 2000s, new metal, emo, grunge, lots of System of a Down, Limp Bizkit, Corn, Slipknot. Don't get me wrong, I got a lot of Backstreet Boys on this piece. It's equal Backstreet Boys to Slipknot. I have two completely different sides. One of them loves 2000s Britney Spears and the other one loves Hammer Smashed Face. But I do love Queen, everybody loves Queen. Where would you never get tattooed? Ooh my bum hole. I am fighting the urge to get my jawline tattooed. Like, I'm not even kidding. I am fighting this urge so much. I would like quote from a film all like along my jawline. I know, I know. As soon as I put a little bit of weight on, that's the first thing to go. And I don't think that would look very attractive on me with a quote down here. So that's one thing Ugh, I would probably never get tattooed, though I do really want it. Favourite piercing? Why did you decide to keep the ones you you have in now and not the others? Um, as I got older, I just kind of gone with the more, less is more with piercings. Um, I spent a, a big chunk of my life... Stop moving my camera! I spent a big chunk of my life with a face full of piercings. It was kind of like a barrier. We're gonna get deep now, boys and girls. And as I've got older, I don't need that barrier anymore. I do still really like piercings. I decided to keep these ones because they, they really, I think they suit me. <laughs> I would like my cheeks done again, but my cheeks just never heal, so I'm not gonna go down that route. I like the, the ones that I've got. I think they center up my face. Because I wear glasses, it just evens out the, the stuff on my face, if that makes sense. I'd say my favorite piercing was my septum. Is there any other piercings you would love to get? I would love to get my nipples pierced again. Um, I have them tattooed, so my nipples are heart-shaped, and I would just think like a nice little bar through them would look adorable, but that, no, no. I've had my nipples done like four times, and it doesn't get better. <laughs> like, going through scar tissue on your nipples is, is as horrible as it sounds. Do you know what? My nipples are fragile now. I've had a baby and I don't think they could handle that. Do you like realistic gore in movies like Jigsaw Franchise, The Collector? <gasps> yes. My favorite, I'm a big horror film fan, okay? I love my horror films. My favorite horror films are like the Scream franchise. I love horror films that could be real. Like Scream, Scream could very easily be real. And I'm pretty sure it has been real. I'm pretty sure that shit has happened somewhere. I find it so much scarier, the fact that it could be real and it could happen. But like Saw, as shit as Saw has gotten with all these, oh, he secretly trained this person while he was secretly check Psh. I do love the Saw films because again they could happen you know it's very easily that someone could just lock you in a room it could happen and I think that makes a film so much scarier to me do you think there will ever be a time when you have no more space for tattoos I hope so I want to be 
covered like not completely head to toe covered but i want to be a majority of my skin covered i think that like manami frost oh, i think she's the most beautiful woman in the world the way she's done her tattoo she's stuck to one style and i think she just looks so so beautiful so i will stop eventually i would never get like my whole face tattooed um though i do want a couple more little ones on my face i would never get um I would never get like the soles of my feet tattooed because like, like the idea of that makes my vagina shrink. I wouldn't go until I've run out of space, but I would go until I felt like I was covered enough. I don't know when enough is enough, but I feel like I will know when that time comes. Do you like anime, Japanese animation? And if so, what series shows? I'm not a huge fan of anime. My daughter absolutely loves it. She loves Spirit Away. It's one of her favorite films. She, when she was little, she had a crush on No Face. I'm not even joking. She would say No Face was her boyfriend. Do you want more kids? Oh my God, I get asked this every time. I, every time I go to my mum's house, when you have another baby, when you have another baby, never. Right, I'm gonna tell you guys this now, once and for all. Ben is getting a vasectomy. <laughs> he genuinely is. We've had the discussion. He's getting a vasectomy. We do not want any more children. We are going to adopt and foster when we get a little bit older. We just don't feel like kids are for us. Like we've got one and she is amazing. And I just, I, we both feel like this is it. Our family is three for now. We will happily adopt and foster in the future to make our family bigger, but we don't need any more for us. Can impulse tattoos be better than tattoos that you've thought about and planned for a long time? I like this question. Yeah, I much prefer an impulse tattoo because I had a comment the other day, and I'm sorry if you're watching this young lady, I don't mean any offense by it, but she commented on my laser video and she put that uh, this is why she thinks about her tattoos for three to 10 years before she gets them. And I was like, well, that like fantastic for you. Cause I can't wait three years of wanting a design. If I want a tattoo, I'm gonna get it then and there because I am always very aware that tomorrow is never guaranteed. I would love to say, oh yeah, I thought about this tattoo for three to 10 years. I don't know if I'm gonna be here in 10 years. I mean, obviously I hope I am, but I don't know that. A big thing for me is I don't wanna be laying on my deathbed if I make it to an old lady and have regrets. You know, I might lay there and go, oh, I wish I never got all these tattoos. I highly doubt that because I've wanted tattoos, literally, I, my mom and dad are covered in tattoos. I've wanted them my whole life. I don't, stop moving my camera. Uh, so I don't feel like I'm gonna turn around one day and go, I don't want that. Um, I feel like I'm gonna look at them and think of why I wanted them, what reminded me of them, why I got that impulse, why I was walking through town that day and decided I wanted a coat hanger tattooed on me. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do and, and that makes me happy. Obviously I have tattoos that I thought a long and hard about and um, they're, they're ones that do mean a lot to me. I think the impulse ones are just a lot more fun. Will you let me design you a tattoo girl? Ah! We need to get matching tattoos. You, me, and Paige. Let's go. We keep saying we're gonna have a day out in Colchester, me and Paige. Let, let's go and get tattooed together. Let's go get little Disney tattoos. I have no pain tolerance, but I really want to get tattoos. What should I do? I know lots of places don't let you use numbing creams slash gels. I was gonna say numbing cream. I would say start off small. I have no pain tolerance. I mean, I've built up pain tolerance after getting so many. I still can't handle pain, and it got a lot worse after I had my daughter. Like, I just can't pain at all. I didn't know a lot of places don't allow numbing gel. I mean, every place that I've been, you put it on before. So you put it on like an hour or so before you get tattooed. So there's a good chance that the tattooist probably won't even know. I think it's good to tell them so that they know what type of skin they're dealing with. But tattooists, I'm guessing genuinely wouldn't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a professional. I don't know that. But you know, um, I am very quickly becoming an advocate, a very strong advocate for numbing gels. I had my uh, third arm laser session recently. Um, I didn't vlog it because I figured it was getting a bit too samey. So I will vlog the next one. And I used numbing gel. Oh my God, that tattoo laser pain went from a solid nine out of 10 down to a four. So uh, I am loving numbing cream. And I think numbing cream is the only way, the only way. I'm gonna get my other knee tattooed. So that's it guys, that's the end of part one. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back, um, I'll probably have a different video and then I'll be back after that one with part two. Thank you guys for watching.